Hi guys, this is a video on online photo tools. Now there's several websites on the internet that you can use uh, that can apply filters and things to your photos so you don't have to download things like Photoshop, Earth and View and things like that to sort out your photos. You can actually do it over the web so you don't need to download anything. It can all be done purely online. So I'll be showing you the following things, what you can do with these websites. There's just five websites I'm going to show you but uh, one of them is very very comprehensive so Let's get started. So I have a picture here of uh, me, my ugly mug. So here's me with some uh, sunglasses that I've just drawn on me. You'll notice that the, um, the it's a BMP bitmap file that was saved in paint, I think. So we're going to start with our first one, which is onlineutility.org image converter. This converts images to a variety of formats that you can use in loads of different applications. Um, basically, I'll provide all the links to all of these websites in the disc in the description to the right of the video. So here we have all the formats we're going to convert to. I just want to convert mine at the moment to JPEG, so it's easier to upload to these other websites. So JPEG, I've selected my image to convert. It's on the desktop, so I just say convert and download. It sends a request to online utility, and eventually it gives me a download box and says JPEG with a bunch of numbers in it. So I save it to the disk, open it, and there we have my photo again, but in JPEG format. So that is done. I'm gonna rename this to my name again, mobile phone 2003. And the next one we're gonna have, on one of my previous videos, I talked about a website called Toogle, which is basically Google Images, but it converts all the images to text. So, so it shows it in like a big text group. Uh, you understand when I do it. Um, we're going to start by using this HTML button, we'll then go on to ASCII and Matrix. But what we're going to do is upload my picture, my JPEG picture. i uh, just going to use the characters 0 and 1 for the minute. I'm going to say random and then font size smallest, image width 130, color black. So I'm keeping these the same but we're going to choose a web browser as Mozilla Firefox. What we're going to do is press convert and you can see the image working away and you can see there is my image but it's made in noughts and ones. So if I was to go back from this and type in my name, we'll see if it can make it, we'll put it in sequence, see if we can make it, it can make my picture out of my name. And as you can see, it's made my picture out of my name. So there are some things you can do. Um, you can also do it straight to ASCII, but I don't think you can, I'm not sure if you can copy this to your desktop or something because you can't directly link to the HTML one. If I go back to my HTML, create it again. At the bottom I think it says something like you can't directly link to the site because it's, there you go, please note these images are not stored on the web server so you cannot link to these pages expecting anyone to see the image you have created. So for this one, there's not much you can do to save this on your desktop because if you just copy all of this it's just going to say my name several times in a notepad or something. So. We'll go back and uh, we're going to ASCII. I'm going to upload my picture. The image width, we're using them all the same and just convert. You can see it generating it now, and there's my picture again, but made out of ASCII characters. So this one you can do, you can just copy this and put it into something like Notepad or Paint or something. So, not, not Paint, sorry, um, Notepad, WordPad, uh, Microsoft Word or something. You just got to make sure the fonts. Uh, Korean new, I think this is the font for Korean new. So um, you might find if you have it in a different font, it will look totally weird and different. So um, that was ASCII, and then you can do things using the matrix code. And again, we're going to upload the same one, convert it, and eventually you'll see it's actually loaded up the matrix code. Now this has done it in a JPEG, I think, or something. So you can right click and just say save image as. Oh, it's a PNG, sorry. And then you can save it as a picture if you really want to see your picture in matrix style. So that is textimage.com. Again, I'll leave the links in the description. We've got Lunapic here. I'm just going to upload my photo again. Upload now. And you'll see there's like a, there was a paint style boxes here, but we're not going to use these. I'm just going to go for the animations at the moment. So I'm going to say Snowfall and you'll see it's now generating it and now I have a snowfall on my picture. Uh, this irritates me when people have these on their like Bebo's or Moist Spaces or things but either way you can add animations to 
uh, create animation. You can add animations to your pictures. So if I want a disco effect, that's really exciting. And uh, I'll do the last one, I'll just do a lightning effect. And as you can see, it's doing lightning. So that's quite quite a good comprehensive website here. You've got so many other things you can do. You can resize it, you can draw on it, you can adjust things, normalize, red eye reduction, blend them. So I can have like a pencil sketch of me, I suppose, if I really wanted to. And it changes it. So I should have both of them now. Uh, it's gone black. <laughs> Uh, perhaps I didn't like the filter that I put on it or something. Either way, you can do things like that. You can add effects, fire effect, water effect, explode, uh, negative, and add all the animations which I just show you. So uh, you can also put it into MySpace, I think, or something. They usually have add to MySpace or add to Bebo or whichever. So that is lunapic.com. Now, splashup.com, this is in beta. Um, if you, I'll just show you really. It just looks like a Photoshop replacement here, just on the web. So I'm going to try and open my image. I'm not sure if it's going to work because it didn't work before. But I'm going to say open. There is now opening your file. Uh, for some reason it won't open my file. So you might want to try it with your own file. But basically it's just like Photoshop. And you've got things here. You've got colouring tools and square tools and things like that. Text tools. If it works for you then please let me know. Perhaps I'll have to sign in or something. I don't know. But that is splashup.com. And the last one is lunapix.com, so it's different to lunapic. You add your picture uh, somehow, uh, upload your photo, and it will upload your photo, put it into a box. You see here is me, and then you can select frames to put around it. So if I go to the top rated, um, I don't really want to put a heart around my bloody face. Uh, just put that one for the second then, and as you can see it will eventually change my face and have some random scratchy bits around my face. So you can also scale your photo, have it bigger, smaller, so you can zoom in on my really cool sunglasses. <laughs> um, so that's about it really. These are the sites that you can use. You can save your pictures on all of these apart from this text image where you have to do right click and of course this image converter where you can convert them all to different formats. So Thanks for watching my video. If there's any ones you know about, I was looking for one that was a uh, face warper, but I couldn't think of find one. So if you can find one, then please leave a link in the comments. And please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video.